Hey everybody, so welcome back to our channel. So today is me and Reggie's anniversary. So I'm looking like Diana Ross right now because I'm gonna turn all of this, I just washed and blow dried my hair. So I'm gonna turn this into a very sleek ponytail. I'm adding in hair to the back. It's a wavy type of like ponytail. It's gonna be really kind of big but um i'm gonna slick all of this down you can already see i made my part right here so i'm gonna um take out some products i'm gonna show you the hair i'm gonna be using and um i already put in if you saw my last video that i used the um chi silk infusion i put that in my hair already so um, my hair is very soft although it doesn't look like it but it is and then i put in the heat protectant the um silk elements um heat protectant so I've already gotten that in my hair is dry and so now I'm gonna start slicking this part down as slick as I can get it and then I'm gonna um, add in the hair and I'm gonna show you how I do that in the end alright you guys so to th so the products that I was telling you about was the silk elements this is the heat protectant it smells so good and it has olive oil in it so um, it really helps to smooth and um, moisturize your hair and I already put this in the Silk Remedy. Oh, Silk Remedy. I said Silk Confusion. My bad, y'all. See, that's why I show the products because I sometimes say it wrong. Um. So, anyways, then I'm gonna. You're gonna need a red tail comb. Um. I have this flaxseed aloe. It's a Stronghold Sculpture Gel. I got this. Oh, I actually stole this from my mom a while back. Um, she got it from Aveda, but it actually works really good. It holds your hair down really well. It does have some type of like sticky residue, but I kind of add a tiny bit of water to kind of combat that. And then y'all know one of my favorites, my um, cream of nature. Oh, it's upside down. My cream of nature, argan oil, perfect edges. Um, and also you're going to need a little trifling toothbrush <laughs> i need to buy a new toothbrush but whatever so this is to um really get those edges down boo so anyway so we're gonna start off i already parted it off right here and i kind of like a i guess well a deep part will be more right here but this is kind of deep to me so we're gonna stick with it so first if i can get this open all right so i'm gonna take Probably, I'm going to start off with probably like a quarter. Oh, quarter size amount. It's running down my hand. It's very watery. So I'm going to start on this side and kind of just work that down. I'm not going all the way down. Um, you don't really have to worry about the ends so much because we are going to braid that up and put it under our hair that we're adding in. So, um... The only thing that you want to make sure that's perfect is the smoothness at the top and your part. Because you don't want no raggedy part. You want to look very classy and make it look very smooth. So, I see that I want my part a little bit, I'm sorry I'm looking in the mirror y'all, a little bit neater. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, y'all, I'm so excited. Me and Reggie made six years today. And we are letting his mom watch Elijah tonight. Yeah, that's better. I want my part like this. Okay. So. Oh, you know what? You need another, or like a hard, um, a hard brush too. I'm about to get mine out. Um, because you want to brush that product down and in. Um, but yeah, so we are, when Reggie gets off of work today, um, we are going to be bringing him over there. Alright, so you see how smooth that is? We want to get it smooth. want to really brush that down. I want to put a little bit more product towards the back because I want to make sure that that's smooth too. Because you want it to be seamless um, into the hair that we're doing. 
So, so I'm gonna smooth that on down. And you wanna have your rubber band ready. Your rubber bands and your um bobby pins. So I'm gonna get one of my rubber bands ready because I'm gonna try to smooth all this down and it might take a few tries because i mean for my hair my hair is very thick and we're making a low ponytail by the way y'all not high because um oh you know what also put some of this on the nape of your neck because we're going to be gathering that in too um but i'm doing a low ponytail because um i like how it looks and i like to wear um hoops with them with that look so I like to really and this brush is kind of hard y'all so it really gathers in all the hair really good so y'all my hair it got thicker after having Elijah and um now I made the mistake of because my hair was natural for years I hadn't had a perm since I was like 10 and I'm 25 now but I made the mistake of getting I mean doing a perm and my hair was very very healthy I didn't really color it much I definitely didn't color it the whole time I was pregnant all right so we're gonna add in the scrunchie make it very not very tight you don't want to stress your hair out but it's tight enough um but anyways, my hair, I didn't dye at all while I was pregnant. So now you're going to go in with the, the edge control. And put some on the brush. And you are going to, first, I don't, before I do the actual edges, I like to make sure everything else is in place. I did a perm. And, um, you know what? just to apply the product with it and then smooth it out with a bigger brush um and then because I couldn't I didn't know how to handle all of that hair and um so I put a perm in my hair my mom was like why are you doing that you haven't had a perm in years and I was like I'm just tired of it well I dropped my comb I want to separate this a little bit. There you go. If you find that you have clumps, just take a red, the red tail comb and kind of comb through and redo it. Um, and so she was like, why are you putting a perm in your hair? But I was like, I'm just tired of all this thickness. And I, that that's crazy because a lot of people love to have thick hair. But um, when you have a small baby, you ain't got time to do no thick hair. And I was just tired of looking ratchet, y'all. So, you want to make sure that the part stays there. Okay. So, this side is pretty much sleek, okay? I tried that other, um, I don't know, really know what it's called. I'm going to have to look and see. I'm going to leave it down in the link below too, but I like that edge control too. And, um, I find it at my local beauty stores not in regular stores like the cream of nature is um and so y'all i'm not going out right now i'm just getting ready and my makeup and all that stuff is going to be done soon that's why i like to do my hair first because i feel like once i put my foundation and stuff on i can blend it in instead of like you know when you do all your edges and stuff then i feel like you mess up your foundation that's why i like to do my hair first but whatever whatever floats your boat so this side is getting there and so i kind of do it in little sections to make sure that i'm really slicking each section down but um i still need to find something to wear This is the hardest part right here because this is where all my hair that's very thick. So I might have to like take the um, scrunchie out again and really like comb it down because this 
you can see like that my hair is so thick y'all or I could just kind of make it a little tighter in there but um we're going out to eat and I'm so excited we don't really get a lot of date nights because we're with Elijah all the time um but I'm glad that we're making time to to do this because I miss my boo <laughs> yeah I act like I don't see him every day but you know like when you have a baby you just are all over the place we picked a few places that we want to go to I mean that we might want to go to but Yo, my hair, my my um face gets red so easily. Jeez, Louise. Oh, you wanna go? Like, make sure there's no gaps. I wanna make sure every part. I kind of smooth this uh my sideburns down because I love that really sleek look I mean you want to match with the hair as much as possible all right so I'm gonna put some bobby pins down just because this little hump in the back um and don't worry the hair is gonna hide that but the little hump in the back that my um actually you know what I'm gonna take this out I'm gonna take the scrunchie out and try to um get it out. oh yeah my scrunchie pop that's what happens when you have or should i use this i might use this no i'm not because i don't i want to make sure it doesn't show all right so i'm gonna take my little comb and use this y'all so I got all of that combed down more um so now I'm going back in with the brush and just kind of making sure we're going on this side all right y'all so I keep the hair that I'm using normally in this bag that um he used for sewing these little wefts and I think it's like three of them but it fills your hair really good and um, it's this little wavy like curly type hair so um, what I'm gonna do first is though I'm gonna braid this in three little sections have to be perfect because we're gonna um, put it into a little bun all right so you can see it's just a small well, it looks thicker than what it really is but we're gonna um, finish it like this and we're gonna twist and you want to make this little bun as tight as you can because that's what's um some <laughs> quite close to the camera that's what um is gonna keep your hair that you're using secure so you want something like this a very tight bun like this okay and if you can get it smaller that'll be even better so I use this little piece for last because um this is what's gonna gonna, gonna hide uh, the bobby pins and stuff. So I normally focus on the longer sections first. Alright, so what I do is 
I put it over and I make sure that the wefts fall into the bun. I kind of tighten it up as I go. So these little wefts, I curve it into the bun and make sure that it's pretty tight. And we'll just keep doing this until this one runs out. just want to make sure that it doesn't get tangled up all right so we have that section secure and you're just gonna take a bobby pin and put that in place so basically you're securing each layer so you take a bobby pin and you put it into that, that section, okay? All right, so now we're gonna go in with the next section, okay? And since I went over that time, I'm gonna go under this time, just to make sure that everything is covered as much as possible so this should be out and then you're just gonna curve it in like we did the last time but you want to hold that part because it's not secure so have it to your look how cute that is it's so pretty like I love big hair all right so I'm gonna take another bobby pin and secure that section okay so you can see it's nice and secure somebody try to snatch your hair off maybe they're not getting it okay and if they do they, they, they put up a fight all right, so now I'm going to take this last little section and put it over. I like my hair to be this big. If y'all can see, I love this definition. It looks so pretty because when you wear like hoops or something, this little last section doesn't take much. I'm just... And you... So, okay, so a lot of people will ask... Well, what if you can still see those track things? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm just trying to secure. Hold on. Because I feel that other one. Uh, coming up a little. I think I didn't put the body pin on correctly. Huh? Okay, there we go. Um, if you'll still see those uh, track marks and you and and you're not because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a section of hair from the back and tie it around those uh, tracks so it blends in with your hair and what I like to do and what I'm going to do since I'm not leaving anytime soon, I'm going to take a scarf and just tie it around here because I want to make sure that this is as flat as possible. So just gently put it over that area, although your hair is probably not going to move because that um, both of those things that we put on the, the, the um, Aveda gel and the cream of nature um extra holes so you can leave this hair out but like while you're getting ready and stuff or doing your makeup your hair will be setting
in place. And you can go the extra mile and put that spritz on there. Um, a, a lot of women use that. But I don't because it makes my scalp itch. So I just like to do it this way because I know that my hair is going to be well put together. And it's not going to be itchy and irritated. My hair, my scalp is very um, sensitive. If you've seen my last video. Matter of fact, I made a, a video. I actually washed my hair from having those braids in for a while. I did a video on double braided bonds. So cute. And I also did a video on a DIY um, scrub that helps my scalp because my, my scalp is so sensitive and dry and it helps to get all of those flakes and like dryness and itchiness off. So I put this on and then what you do is you just let it sit until you're about to go. I literally take it off at the last minute and I'm, you're ready to go. You can do your makeup and all of that and you know that your hair is done. It's laid. So yeah, so it comes out this look. You just make sure you say, babe, come here real quick. It's not showing, is it? I always ask Reggie, I'm like, my tracks right here, they're not showing right. And he's like, you good, boo. You good, babe. So um, if you want to, you kind of can play through your hair make sure that like see these little sections right here that's kind of and put some hairspray and you know whatever make it look real glossy and whatnot but this is the final look finish good to go you're ready for your little date night and i'm gonna um before i go i'm gonna kind of go over it one more time and make sure that my edges are how they how I want them to be, but they're looking pretty good right now. So that's the final look. I'm gonna do my makeup and stuff um, off camera. If you want to see a video of me doing a uh, makeup look, I have to, I'm kind of in a rush today, so I can't record all of that. But I really want to record this look because it's super easy. If you're going on date night, Valentine's Day is coming up. You can do this look. It's so easy. You don't have to worry about you know, going to get your hair done because the lines are going to be long. Well, not the lines. The appointments are not going to be there for you. If you're not able to get an appointment, here you go. Do it yourself. Wash your hair, blow dry your hair, slick it down, and put this hair on. Simple as that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go look and check out my um, my other hair videos that I just uploaded a few days ago. Um, the DIY scrub and the braided bun tutorial. I'm going to be uploading this one very, very soon. So check it out. And uh, make sure that you comment, like, and subscribe. And push the post notification button to see when I um, upload videos. Because I have been doing them very um, frequently and consistently. And I'm getting really excited about like thinking of new ideas for videos. So if you have any comments or suggestions that you want me to do for our next video, comment down below. Let me know and I will definitely try my best to get it done. So thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. And I'm going to go enjoy my, my uh, anniversary. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Mwah.